Bob's uh, Bob's a, a genius. I mean, he clerked for the you know, uh, the U.S. Supreme Court, probably the smartest attorney, one of the smartest attorneys in the state at any given time, maybe in the history of the state. I mean, he is one of the smartest people you could meet. Bob was a classmate from college. He was uh, one of the best lawyers. I he's, he's retired now, but he's one of the best lawyers I had ever known. Bob and I were got involved in some uh, nonprofit boards and that uh, sort of thing. So I have uh, known him over the years um, as, a, uh, as a, a very fine lawyer and a uh, very committed uh, citizen. He, he was great. I mean, he saw through a lot of issues and really found a way to prosecute this case that made sense so that we could win. Yeah. Uh, had a particular expertise in constitutional law. He had clerked on the United States Supreme Court for Justice Black. He was a Rhodes Scholar, a uh, very smart fellow, in addition to being a good lawyer. And he, I, I, I knew, and so did the systems that, that hired him, that he and his firm had a particular dedication to public schools and the quality and the importance to children. So he poured his heart into the case. An imaginative lawyer, by that I mean, is, is one that looked for um, strategies and um, who uh, was uh, aggressive and fair uh, and, uh, and honest and, and had a strong interest, going back to his uh, student days, in public policy and on issues, uh, especially issues of equity in North Carolina. He was, he is somebody I've always looked up to, and when I, and I do say when I met him as a young person, I thought, that's the kind of lawyer I'd want to be.